Hey everyone, we got about an hour left to stream here, so we're gonna explore. Hey Barry, have you found that princess yet? I heard you're facing the trials of the ancients. Oh, I did not have enough money. Hello, Game Rover. Hello, welcome. You have anything to sell? You don't. Alright, well we gotta go out and fight something to get the money to, uh... Actually, uh... Build a stay at the end. Alright. She's got 45 HP now, though, so she's... She's doing good. Alright, we got 7 gold there. It's not gonna be enough from this, I don't think. How you doing, Game Rover? How's life treating you on the Game Rover side of things? We have one gold we need to stay at the end. Okay, Pyrus. Can I. She actually killed it. Sick. Alright. What's going on here, guys? Oops. I didn't want to do that, but I guess we're doing that. Good? Glad to hear it. What you been up to lately? I've been playing Scarlet Nexus in my free time, and we are now done. Scarlet Nexus, uh, I think. I'm just gonna go get the last trophies, which I'm pretty sure are gonna be pretty easy. All I gotta do, all I gotta do is raise my character to level 80. She's 71 right now, so that's not gonna take too long. Um, and I got to, uh... Oops, why am I back in here? I don't remember the other things I have to do, but they're not going to be too, too bad. Oh, I gotta get everybody's uh, relationship with my character up to uh, rank 6. Rank 6. And then I think I gotta die in the brain field. Alright, save our game again. Now that we are finally back up there. Alright, so we're gonna save up uh, roughly 450 gold so I can buy myself a fur robe for my main guy. Now that we've equipped our uh, new adventures. Anyways, what level are my new adventures? They're level 7 and 6. Okay, so not too far behind my main dude. This game is Shining in the Darkness. It is um, the first game in the Shining series, if you're familiar with Shining Force. It's a first-person dungeon crawler uh, for the Sega Genesis, I want to say. The Master System, I think. It's very basic, but very, so far pretty good. Omega Theory with the raid! Welcome, Omega community and Omega. How you doing? How was Nino Kuni today? Did you get much progress? Fucking door. Make me use this key every time. How are you doing? How's life on the Omega side of things? Thug in astrology. Welcome. Why is this crab here? Why are there always crabs here now? This crab stands no chance. Slow level 1, perfect. Which means Kaizen- Milo is now doing 8 damage instead of 7, guys. Still doing 11 damage to me. You just cleared Hamlin? Good, you're making good progress! We just killed the Kaiser crab. That's what that fuck gets. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. How's Freeze against these guys? Because Blaze was kind of shit. Okay, well, Freeze is better than Blaze on these guys, at least. But you're gonna cast it on me, aren't they? Nope, they're just gonna attack her. Okay. 
How's everyone else from Omega's channel doing? Welcome. I am Sasori. I am Omega's brother in real life. And, uh, I'm a variety streamer. We just finished Neo The World Ends With You yesterday, and today we started Shining in the Darkness, a very old school JRPG. Uh, it is not Shining Force, it is Shining in the Darkness, a. It, uh, it's the first game in the Shining series, Omega. It came out before Shining Force. But as you can see, it's quite a bit different from Shining Force. You were close, yes. Hit me for 12, you fuck. Vector! But yeah, um, I'm enjoying it. I, I've never played this game myself, so this has uh, been really interesting. She got 6 HP, 6 MP, 6 int, 4 speed, 3 luck, 2 attack, and 2 defense. That's right, guys. Join Vector for a boss fight. I'll join you. We have a total of uh, 27 new bosses added to the stream today. Uh, oh, fuck. Bees. I hate bees. Blaze level one, get out of here. Cyber Demon, you a fan of old school uh, first person uh, RPGs? Yeah, singing frog. Well, at least we're making some money this time. Stretch. Did you spend the stretch? Did. Okay, give me a sec here. Got a limber out. <sighs> this game has no map, so I've had to try and memorize the uh, layout of this fucking labyrinth, which has been interesting, but difficult to do. So last time we went over here, we went down here and over there and we fought, fought a chest beak, a mimic sort of enemy where I opened the treasure chest in this weird fucking, well, Kappa basically, or Kappa, uh, came out and tried to fuck on me. Another game you played when you were a kid? I would say Shin Megami Tensei, but uh, I doubt that was it. Maybe, uh... Maybe not Might and Magic, but, uh, Wizardry? Swords and Servants? I never heard of that. Yeah, Wizardry. Get fucked, my nums. Milo goes up a level, guys. You got 7 HP, 6 8, uh, MP, 6 int, 3 speed, 4 luck, 2 attack, and 1 defense. No new spells for Milo. Is it gonna be another chest beak? Let's see. We're gonna... We're gonna search. I got a wisdom seed. Sick. Not really sick. I don't care about the wisdom seeds. Is an NES Dungeon Caller Maze RPG? Man, those were popular during this, that era. A Cave Goblin? I think the key to this is just getting your stats high enough that things don't just obliterate you as you go through the cave. Ow. Oh, you did two damage. That's not good. That's a little more scary. Don't hit Pyra. I'll take a hit. Yeah, there we go, they're all dead. I crit it, haha. -ha. This is one where you mash the button with a certain direction to target uh, certain body parts. I don't think so. Uh, that doesn't seem like a thing in this. A good job of making every four exactly eight feet tall and very squarely uniform. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. 
There's a reason. That boss was a bitch. I hated her, so you guys get nothing for beating her. HP 7, 3 IQ. Speed points 2. Luck points 2. Attack points 4. 1 defense. Stupid pooper of balloons. Popper of balloons! <sighs> Runs into trouble. This does look like trouble. I'm not a fan of this. Alright, Neanderthals. Okay, well, I kill off one of the Widow Fangs. Okay, the Neanderthals survived. Much to my dismay. That Neanderthal also survived. It's dead. Okay, cool. It missed. Okay, this is going pretty decently. My balloon! Oh, that I didn't add that in. I need to. Oh, come on. What is this? stuff, guys. Alright. Hey, yeah, we killed one of the Neanderthals. And the Widow Fang. Oh, Milo's not taking much damage at all. We're doing okay, guys. We're doing okay. Oh, I'm more worried about them doing some weird status effect I've never seen before, like biting me and, and confusing me or something. Everyone has an instant death attack. Yeah, that's that's more scary. H goes up by six, seven, magic, six, and... Five speed, three lock, two attack, three defense, and she learned heal. Wait, okay. Spell level increase. Blaze goes up level two. She got those both in one area. So, you know, that's cool, I guess. That's cool, I guess. That's cool. Alright. Uh, you love Legend of Grimrock? Uh, I never did care for its combat too much. Oh, okay. Looks like the Kaiser Crab has returned down here. Ooh, I kind of want to use that, but we're going to slow it. So slow is actually really good in this because it actually lowers the defense of the enemy as well. I'm going to have you cast a heal on your... Alright, I gotta cast it. I gotta see how much damage Blaze does. Okay, this animation looks the exact same. He took 14 damage. Oh, I missed! Miro, no! Oh, you got double attack? What is that? She killed it herself. Pyra did everything in that fight. Crab Rave. They tried too hard for old school combat, but old school combat sucked. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, take that 6 damage. Yeah, take that 11 damage. Oh, the, so the two of them together can kill one of the goblins. Oh, okay. One of them already ran away. That's unfortunate. You prefer turn-based combat, not the hit-and-run style? 
I don't know what the combat is like in that. Uh, I barely know that game. But, uh, it's not bad. From what I understand, there are people who like it. What do I do with these pools? To toss something in? Like, I saw one in the upper level too. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. That doesn't sound fun at all. Alright, so I'm gonna go explore some of these other paths before I get too far into... into this area. I think this is the way I came from, right? What's over here? Ah, oh, caught by surprise again. A dark hermit. The fuck is a dark hermit? I can't see it. Oh, we got some Neanderthals too. Alright, well I don't like them, so they're gonna die first. They're clearly spellcasters of some sort, which means they gotta be taken down. Get Neanderthals already running away from me, so I'm strong enough to make that happen, apparently. Uh, I've watched Hyle play Darkest Dungeon. There, uh, there's a new Darkest Dungeon that came out, I think, or is gonna come out. It's always good to jump back and explore these types of games too, though. Okay, so that's stairs downstairs. Uh, downstairs, haha. <laughs> but, not exactly where I'm thinking I want to go right now. Dark Hermits, apparently. I like how they all spread out their attacks. Oh, the Hermits are already running away from me. Okay, that's not great. Yeah, it can be pretty, pretty brutal. Oh, okay, this one just, like, got the jump on me. Milo took two points of damage. Mira took two points of damage. I was hoping I'd kill that cave goblin. Not till next round, I guess. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the one-step combat. Not gonna lie. It's not as bad as Beth Fire 2, but... It's not great. Oh, you know what, I should... Milo goes up a level, 7 HP, 6 MP, 5 IQ, 3 luck, or 3 speed, 4 luck, 3 attack. I need to learn Blast. Oh, he is going to get an attack spell. Okay. Another Wisdom Seed. You know what, I'm going to use one of them. Over there is where the stairs are. There's a lot of enemies here, holy shit. It's less fun when you consider that there are so many enemies, but let's check out Blast. That clearly should have done more damage than it did. Man, magic sucks in this so far. 
I still see them as stat boost items too. That's why I was like, why are they selling wisdom seeds in this store? I didn't realize I just killed that. Alright, cool. I crit it. Alright. So, over here, it's a dark hermit apparently. I wish I had an AoE spell. That would make my life so much simpler. At least during the exploration phases, uh, where I'm just trying to figure out what the hell's in this labyrinth. <sighs> I'm caught by surprise. Good. Milo attacks, kills the Dark Hermit. Okay, Miro attacks, kills the other Dark, or uh, Mad Gnome. I'm trying to conserve some MP, which is why I'm not actually uh, using spells every round. Hey, power goes up a level. 7 HP, 6 MP, 6 int, 5 speed, 3 luck, 2 de attack, 3 defense. Okay, come on. Having me fight every step being in a fight with like four plus monsters is annoying. How are there this many monsters in here, you wonder? It's like, they never get anywhere. They'd end up having to eat each other. At least I was able to take more than a single step. Ah, uh, these guys do. The Dark Hermits. See, they got their little torches. That's all they exist for. Those are LEDs. <laughs> Where's this taking me? I'm dead, aren't I? Oh, scavengers. Kind of surprised. Uh, yeah, I knew he was going to cast Blaze. There we go. It's really the only thing that makes me take damage right now is the enemy's magic. Yeah, they're all gonna run. Nope, he's gonna lash out at Miro. I'm excited to see the different areas in this game, but uh, it's kind of annoying. The amount of enemies, I mean. They really don't want me to get in, getting these treasure boxes, apparently. Alright, Pyra, kill it. Yay, she did it! Mira took out the Mad Gnome. Milo does not take out the second Mad Gnome. Or the first. Given it's number one, apparently. This is getting lots of EXP. And money. How much money do I have now? 856. 100 gold. 956. 
Alright, we gotta take out that Widow Fang, I'm afraid. It's gonna die, so you two can go after these if you want, but... You and your damn magic spells, you fuck. It's dead. We win. I think when we're finally done this for stream today, we're gonna have a ton of money to spend. Alright, what's on this side? I think I remember where we were. What's with the water puddles? I haven't actually figured that out. You played this a lot as a kid, you don't think you ever made it past the trials? Uh, Kanda, I've never actually played this before, so you get, you're getting to see my first, literal first, uh, time jump into the game, uh, because before today, I also, this is like our first day playing it, too. Kanda, what's your favorite Dragon Quest game? Mine's five. Smelling salt. Hey, they got it. Cool. XP raid. So far, I haven't felt too pressured to want to grind anyway, except uh, at the start there where I, where I got a few levels. Uh, and then to get money to get the uh, sword to beat the, the, the crab. But, like, to get levels itself, I haven't actually felt the need to truly grind. D-Poison. Okay. Probably nine. Seven's a close second. Good choices. Good choices. Yeah, five's my favorite. Tw ten might be my favorite if they ever release it over here. I did get to play the Japanese version and I really liked it. Uh, but I, I had a very cursory knowledge of the story based on translation. Oh crap, sick. The Kaiser Crab emerges. Alright. It's actually good that we're fighting these. It's not too tough anymore, and they, uh, they actually, uh, are pretty easy to kill. And they get a ton of EXP and uh, MP. Oh, you crit me, you fucker. He heard me talking shit about him. Forty EXP, fifty gold. All right, so I know where the stairs are. Uh, there's also that path that we didn't explore. Um, I'm wondering if. There's anything else down no, there's also this path down here. Did we take this one? Ah, oh, he dodged, what a fucker. Oh, he's still dead though. Oh, he's got the one Neanderthal left. So, so far, uh, it doesn't feel like my other characters are useless, like in Dragon Quest 2. At least in the NES version. Okay. That's a bit annoying. Stop with that. I like EXP and I like money. I just don't like it every every step. Okay, we did get this treasure chest. Okay, I know where we are then. It's like Mira runs into trouble. Not really. These guys are clearly just following me around. Like the creepers that they are. Oh, I gotta 
questions. Sorry guys, my phone went off and I had to see what it was. Nothing important though. We're bat tracking. Ah, Miro crits that for 69 damage. Nice. All right. 